New South Wales Raptor Squad is expanding its operations to the Hunter region to target and dismantle organized crime and criminal bikey clubs. Following successful operations in Maitland and Musselbrook, the Raptor Squad is establishing a permanent base in the Hunter region with a newly launched Raptor Squad named Raptor North. Starting in 2023, 29 experienced staff are now on duty, they are equipped with latest crime deterring technology, vehicles, arms and intelligence. The Raptor North team will be focused on the Hunter region but will have the capability to deploy throughout all of northern New South Wales. The Raptor North team's objective is to combat organized crime and target criminal networks on the Central Coast, the Mid-North Coast, Coffs Harbour, and towards the Queensland border. Police released videos of property raids and arrests of gladiators and nomads clubhouses at East Maitland along with properties at Largs, Rutherford, Dungog, and Port Stephens. The raids followed a drug ring believed to be involved in the manufacture and supply of amphetamine-type drugs. Police Raptor found about a kilogram of base amphetamine, $20,000 in cash, guns and items believed to have been used to make illicit drugs at a farm near Port Stephens. The establishment of Raptor North is a significant step forward in the fight against organized crime in northern New South Wales. Police are determined to disrupt the activities of these criminal networks and bring them to justice. The Raptor Squad has a proven track record of success, and the expansion of their operations to the Hunter region will undoubtedly have a positive impact on the safety and security of the local community. Raptor squad officers have worked closely with local police to proactively target conflicting bikies involved in public place shootings, arson attacks, and violent public place assaults. Last week, the Coffs Harbour and Northern Rivers Region Enforcement Squads and local police district officers teamed up with the Raptor Squad to investigate the cultivation and supply of illicit drugs. Ten firearms were seized as officers conducted three search warrants, locating alleged stolen property including a motorbike, a caravan and a tractor. Four people were charged and remained before the courts. Strike Force Raptor was established in 2009 before becoming the standalone Raptor Squad in 2021. Since July last year, total Raptor Squad numbers have been boosted to 30, with police now able to mobilize a Raptor North team of 29 and Raptor South Squad of 25. New South Wales Police Force is continuing to strengthen its capabilities and is putting resources on the ground to proactively target those committing criminal offences. Police, FBO, open the door! Police, FBO, open the door! Open it, man. Open it, man. 
From the onset, the goal has been to disrupt and disable the activities of criminal networks, including bikies, and remove the appeal of being in a bikie club. The tactics and strategies employed within the Sydney Basin have proven highly effective in reducing the attraction of joining an outlaw motorcycle club. With more than 7,000 arrests and 16,000 charges since 2009, tens of millions in cash and drugs seized and destroyed. Please, please Open the door! According to police the Raptor name has become synonymous please, with dismantling please, organized please, crime in the, the state. Strike Force Raptor is back, bigger and stronger than ever. Specialized units like Raptor go after criminal clubs and are an essential component of law enforcement agencies around the world. These teams are tasked with identifying, investigating, and arresting members of criminal organizations who engage in various illegal activities, such as drug trafficking, extortion, and violent crimes. Criminals across New South Wales are often scared of the blue uniform Raptor teams, due to its authority, its ability to disrupt secrecy and anonymity, its ability to deter criminal activity, and its association with the power to arrest and charge gang members. This fear is a testament to the power of law enforcement and the importance of maintaining a visible and vigilant police presence in communities affected by illegal club activity.